Madeleine Albright, the first woman to ever serve as Secretary of State. She will be honored at her funeral service at the Washington National Cathedral in the nation's capital. World leaders, including President Joe Biden, expected to pay their respects to Albright, who died on March 23rd at the age of 84. ABC News contributor and Washington Post national political correspondent Mary Jordan joining me now to talk about what we can expect. By the way, welcome to ABC News. Great to see you. It's great to have you here. You know, I couldn't think of a better person uh, to talk about Madeleine Albright. I mean, for decades, you have traveled all countries. You have watched the fruits of Madeleine Albright's labor and had a number of experiences with her. As you just look at today overall, what are you thinking about uh, when it comes to her legacy, who she was, and what she did, not only for the United States, but other countries across the I world. I was on the Acela from New York last night coming in, and it was packed with people coming to the funeral. And you overheard people, and I think two things say why this town is full of dignitaries. Many flew in from around the world. Is one, the outlines of her life. Incredible story, flees Nazism arrives in America at age 11, becomes a U.S. citizen in the 50s, and then Jimmy Carter, 25 years ago, uh, puts her on the, the team at the White House for national security, and lo and behold, in 1996, she was the highest ranking woman in U.S. government as Secretary of State. So it's an incredible story, but also many people on the train were talking about what she did for them personally. She had this ability, she was this little woman in high heels, you know, with a good sense of humor and always a book. Yet, she always had time for mentoring people. Uh, you'll see probably at the funeral the president of Georgia and other female presidents around the world who will tell you and, and told me, Madeleine Albright inspired me. She said, we can do this, it's not a guy's world. And so it's two things, it's what she stood for and then what she did for so many. And so when we, when we think about that, and towards the last years of her life, you both teaching at Georgetown, and your daughter even had the honor of taking her class. So to the very end, like you said, she was being a mentor. She was trying to pay it forward and, and, and look at the younger generation to bring them up in a way to be a strong, uh, fruitful woman. And imagine this, um, she's standing there in a bomber jacket <laughs> with shades on in front of the class because she has simulated a world crisis. And she's had every student, you know, she makes this person be the UN ambassador, that person be the head of Japan, and this person, you know, and she's, they've been preparing for weeks and, and this was, quintessential Madeline because she told them, okay, the general topic is North Korea missile strike. So read everything, know everything. But at the last minute, she changes it up and she says, okay, what you're gonna discuss now for the next nine hours, and you have to stay there nine hours with her, <laughs> is we're not sure if it was intentional or not, but they just bombed a small city in Japan. Okay, how are you gonna deal with this? And, but, 79 years old, hours she's standing there in her high heels, watching each student and telling them, because she knew in that room somebody, or maybe more, were gonna be diplomats. It was an homage to her father, who was also a teacher and scholar, to, that said, your job is to prepare the next generation of thinkers. And boy, did she do that. Live pictures now from inside the uh, Washington National Cathedral. She even sat on the board at the cathedral and wrote about um, picking the gargoyles <laughs> when they were making changes. Um, and as you look at the live pictures and you see the faces in the room and you talk about just the uh, number of people that she made an impact on, you, you mentioned to me this relationship she had with Hillary Clinton and that you will be paying close attention to what Hillary will be saying. Um, I mean, you talk about two strong women who went up uh, against the men, right? Went up against a lot of um, uh, discrimination of certain sorts to become 
two of the most powerful well, women I, in I this country. I know that Joe Biden is going to speak, and I know that Bill Clinton is going to speak. But really, I think all eyes will be on Hillary because the night that she was picked, Madeleine Albright, 1996, at the time, everybody thought George, uh, Senator George Mitchell. He was this big deal senator. He was a front runner. There was another senator, Senator Nunn. And Hillary quietly had been pushing for her. You know, we got to do this. This would break the, the, the ceiling here. And from that moment on, the, they traveled the world together. They were very close friends. And Hillary eventually had the same job uh, to, to the very, very end. They were good friends. You know, Hillary talks about her as being a bureaucratic warrior. How would you define bureaucratic warrior? You know, I think... The best way to describe her was in her own words. She used to say that she believed in what America can do to lessen the pain. And that meant, you know, it's not just we have to do something for another country because it's in our own national, national interest. We got to lessen the pain out there. She was so gung-ho on America. She was so grateful for what they did uh, in Europe uh, when the Nazis took over her homeland. And she never forgot the power and might of right, she would say. The power and might of right. Um, she sure went up against the bullies, too, going back to Slobodan Milosevic. And, you know, she was a badass. <laughs> she, she was, <laughs> she did her homework. That's she the quote stood of the day. <laughs> <laughs> she stood up. She was no, uh, you know. No I mean, wallflower. <laughs> and, and it was tough. You know, this was a man's world where people, when she first got the job, were so used to uh, Mr. Secretary that they kept saying that. And then they would go, no, 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 not Mr. Secretary. It was Madam, <laughs> Madam Secretary. <laughs> Secretary. And, of course, when that TV show about... Uh, Madam, called Madam Secretary, she went on the set of that and she enjoyed it to no end. But from little things like being the first woman meant, you know, she'd go to other countries and they weren't used to that and they didn't even have a woman's room. You know, they, they had cigars. They didn't, like, it was, it's hard to imagine. It was only 25 years ago, but this was the power elite. That was the top job. That was a person who carried America around the world. And, uh, and she really did a, such a good job that she was called back in her 70s by Obama. And uh, a friend, Capricia Marshall, who, who was the head of protocol, went with her and said, wow, the gravitas she carries. I mean, people all over the world, she hadn't been in office a long time, were literally rolling out the red carpet. I'll tell you what, we're going to be rolling out the red carpet for you because you are going to be my expert here as we um, just follow the entire funeral service, listen to all the dignitaries, the luminaries, the, the world leaders, and talk about her life. We'll personalize it. We'll, we'll talk about the politics. Uh, we'll talk about her as a warrior, as a woman, as an incredible grandmother, um, and, and the role model that she has been for all of us, someone who wanted to be a journalist but instead makes history uh, by being an, an incredible leader in, in this country. Good decision maker there. <laughs> Absolutely. I think she made the right decision also. Mary, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We're going to see a lot uh, throughout the afternoon. And you can tune in to our live coverage of Madeleine Albright's funeral today, 11 a.m. Eastern, right here on ABC News Live. Mary will be by my side, and we will talk about it and lift up Madeleine Albright. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.